Oh, hello viewers. Today I will describe how three phase generator produces the voltage in reality. So you will see, it's actually pretty simple. But yeah, I will show you now, I will explain you what are the basic points which we have to know to understand how actually three phase voltage, which is over here, is produced uh, in uh, with the physical devices like magnets and coils. And you will see, it's simple. Okay, what we have here? We have here our setup of the generator. So this is uh, totally nine, uh, nine coils and 12 magnets. And what happens, what, hap what do we get when these magnets are moving around these nine coils? So if you can see, uh, each third coil is interconnected, like this blue line, yeah, this blue line over here. It's interconnected, yeah, that, that we have these three coils represent actually one phase. Another set, 2A, 2B, 2C, represent another set. And 3A, 3B, 3C, last set, or last phase. So, when first magnet go uh, fly over over the first coil, 1A, what do we have, what do we have as a result of voltage? You will see now. If you see... This red, it's, it means coil 1. It represents coil 1, so 1, 8, 1, B, 1, C, and the phase 1. This is the phase 1 of three-phase system. And when the north-facing pole magnet crosses above the coil 1A, 1B and C, we have a plus 24 volts. So this peak over here represents the plus 24 volts. And then... If you see the second set of magnets which are coming are of course south pole not north south pole these yellow ones so when when they come to this coil 1a 1b and 1c in the same moment we will have the minus 24 volts and this is something over here this curve part down curve part over here and the same principle is uh, for the coil 2, so this is the 2A, 2B, 2C, or, or phase 2, however you want to call it, and the coil 3, or phase 3, coil 3A, 3B, 3C. So, when the north-facing pole crosses above the coil 1A, we have plus 24 volts, and when the south-facing pole crosses above coil 1A, we have minus 24 volts. And this is the whole secret. Total secret is what I explain you. So why they are shifted? Coil 1, it's the phase is here. Coil 2 phase is here. Coil 3 phase is here, plus 24. Here. So this is this axis means time. So if you watch the, the image, you will see that it cannot happen that in same time, we have, we have 12 magnets and 9 coils. It can be in the same time around each three phases, yeah? They're shifted a little bit in time. So this means that, let's say, when the coil 1 has plus 24 volts, coil 2 will have few milliseconds later, and coil 3 or phase 3, few milliseconds later. And this is it, yeah? So this is like the shift in the, in the time. And this is all what you need to know about three-phase system. So we, we can recap again. We have three times three coils connected in series to, to get one phase and another three second phase and another three third phase. When the north, north facing pole crosses above the coil 1, 1A, one 1B, one 1C, one we get plus 24 volts. And when the south facing pole crosses above coil 1A, one 1B, one 1C, one we have minus 24 volts. And this same stands for the phase 2 and phase 3. Hello viewers, that was a so short representation of how is three-phase voltage produced in three-phase generator. It is, it's actually really simple, you saw that, but now you actually understand it visually. So that, that's why I wanted to show you with fingers and, 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 and everything that you see in which moment, which phase is producing which voltage and which polarity. And this is it, we have north and, uh, north and south phasing poles of the magnets, and when they are spinning, they have, or 
or 24 or plus 24 or minus 24 volts. And this is the whole mystery. Thanks for watching. Until another time. Bye bye.